Oh, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth I'm on the PCH sitting in traffic. So I thought I would take care of a video request here. All right, Eric G from Massachusetts sent me a uh, email a while back about him being in school and getting hassled by a teacher because he had a Confederate flag on his phone case. And he was basically explaining he was down with the, uh, you know, southern southern culture, if you will. And this, and he was like, "What's your take on it?" I go, "All right, man. Look, symbols are gnarly. Symbols have all sorts of meaning that a lot of people aren't aware of, and some people are aware of. I mean, to go specifically into the." what the Confederate flag means. I mean, to a certain segment of our society, the Confederate flag stands for slavery and racism and all sorts of negative connotations. To another segment of society, the Confederate flag stands, stands for people that stood up against the federal government who was, you know, basically hassling them and they bonded together and tried to fight the oppression of the man. Now, those of you who aren't initiated into U.S. history must realize that the uh, Civil War really wasn't about slavery. Though slavery was involved with the Civil War, of course, it was, it was much deeper about that. It was about states' rights and the right of the people to uh, have economic freedom and do with what they will. And yes, slavery was tied into that economic freedom. So whatever. It's not what this video is about, about whether the South is right or wrong. Hey, I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina for the, for a while. People living in the South are truly awesome people, man. Super hospitable, super integrated. All right. I'm kind of going on a tangent here about this one aspect. I live in Los Angeles, California, right? You know, everyone thinks West Coast, everybody's so hip and loving and, you know, it's so mellow. But dude, this is the most segregated place in the country I've ever lived. And I didn't realize that till I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I was living in a fully integrated city. And... If you don't know what that is, then you probably live in a segregated city and you just don't know it. A fully integrated city is, is you're doing your thing with everybody and it ain't no big deal. Here in Los Angeles, man, people of specific ethnicities live in specific zones. People of certain colors live in certain zones and it's plain as day around here. And so, um, yeah, when you get into what the South's all about, the new South's awesome on the Piedmont. I love Charlotte, North Carolina. I thought Charlotte, North Carolina was a truly, truly hip city, but I deviated off course here. Look, what I really want would say to Eric G out there in Massachusetts is anytime you have a symbol associated with your personal zone, i.e. your spacesuit, the clothes you put on your spacesuit, your vehicles, your house, your property. It's subject to interpretation. And what symbols do, and you plastering symbols on yourself, is basically trying to segregate yourself from other groups of people. It's saying that I'm part of something that you're not part of. Look at me. Hey, look at me. And okay, that's fine. You're told people, I get it, man. I, I totally get it. But be ready to take on that reality that you're uh, promoting. So, you know, you take, you start putting a fully charged symbol in your reality, i.e. a Confederate flag. You better expect some people to be offended by it. It just goes, it's, it just goes with the territory, man. The Confederate flag is a fully charged symbol. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with a lot of stuff, man. I'm just saying I'm not going to go rolling around with the Confederate flag on the back of my car, man. It's not going to happen, dude. In fact, 
I don't put any stickers on my vehicle. Why? Because I don't want to be identified and associated with anybody. I want to freely move through society without any labels being attached to me. And what do I mean by that? Look, most people think that they have to dress a certain way to promote a certain like lifestyle or ideology or reality. When I go, dude, it's all contained in your head and in your heart, man. Like, look, you look at me, you probably don't know I'm a hippie, I'm a punker, I'm a skateboarder, I'm a surfer, I'm an equestrian, I'm a writer, I'm a carpenter, I'm a, I'm all sorts of things, right? And those, those things, I don't need to transmit in a bumper sticker or a patch on my jacket or a haircut. I'm all just who I am, man. I'm who I am and I don't need to broadcast who I am to anyone else to be who I am. And like, look, everybody's, do your thing, man. That's all I'm saying is do your thing, but hey, expect the consequences of your action. Not everybody, hey, part of you doing your thing and inserting your visual reality or your sound reality or your reality into somebody else's space is they might not dig it, man. Hey, you want to roll around with the purple mohawk? Fine. But don't be surprised if somebody who owns a restaurant's like, no, nah, I don't want you and your purple mohawk people in here, man. And, you know, it's a slippery slope, right? That You know, that gets to the whole Jim Crow laws and a free society. But, you know, I also believe that people have the right to, to have their space and not have their space infringed upon. But... That's what the First Amendment's about, too, is public spaces for everybody. It's not about people that you agree with. It's about p the people you don't agree with. The First Amendment is about the people you don't agree with having the right to go into a public space and broadcast their message. But the, but the whole Constitution's about, hey, when I go home, man, you're not allowed to insert your weird message in my door. No way, man. If I don't want purple mohawks in my house or my property, that's that's my right. Now I don't have a problem with purple mohawks. I'm just saying, it's it's a it's a subtle example. Look, man, I think people this 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 whole thing gets on into a slippery slope about racism and sexism. Ultimately, like where where does the line begin and end? So I think that's ultimately getting back to Eric and his Confederate flag and his teacher coming down on him is, is part of the deal, dude. It's, it's a slippery slope and you open up a can of worms, man, and you got to expect people to come down on you. Now, what Eric was talking about it is someone came, his teacher came down on him and he, he acted back with a negative tone. Look, man, your job, if you want to broadcast messages and people want to come back with all the opposite approach to your message is be ready to engage him and be ready to engage him in, in an intellectual, positive, accepting way. Because you go running around broadcasting messages that might offend people, you better ex offend, expect people to be offended. Look, man, you know, it, it, it's the whole thing, dude. It, it's so convoluted out there. I, I just, look, man, just take care of your own personal space. You don't need to broadcast your, your thoughts via symbols to other people. I don't know, man. I'm just, I get it, man. You know, I've had the Thrasher, Thrasher logo on the back of my car for many years. I've had all sorts of lo logos associated with me. And part of the reason I put, when I used to put logos on was to say that I'm different. I'm different from you. I'm separate from you. I, I'm better than you. So, you know, as I learn and I grow older and I realize that separation is the enemy, I don't know, man. So, Eric, there's my, my deal on it, man. You want to go waving a Confederate flag, expect some people to be pissed about it. And don't get pissed at them for being pissed, man. Like, uh, you know. But, you know, it's it's a good lesson. It's a, it's a good thing to think about. I think in the... In a country that, that claims to be all like, 
beyond that stuff. I don't think we are as a society. I think we are totally uptight, pent up, pointing fingers at everybody's society, poking the bear, poke the bear, poke the bear. And well, when you poke the bear enough, the bear's got gnarly claws and big teeth and the bear might rip your head off, man. So if you want to poke the bear, expect bears to act like bears. Anyway, let's not poke the bear. Let's do our best not to poke the bear. Let's be positive, high-frequency people. Looks like the traffic's starting to break up, peeps. All right, Eric G. in Massachusetts. Good luck, man. Hey, I, I suggest instead of rolling with the Confederate flag, just move down to Charlotte, North Carolina, man. It's pretty cool down there. The illusion gives it a full, high-frequency thumbs up. Peace.